Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and The Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and The Restless teasers, Victoria Newman will grieve in her car while seeing her home burn down. Victor Newman will be in the passenger seat as a firefighter says that the best thing they can do now is keep the fire from spreading into the woods. Victoria and Victor will return to the property because the location is unsafe. Meanwhile, Nikki Newman will be in a state of shock as a result of Jordan's violent move, making her thirsty. Instead, Nikki will furiously push Claire to distract her, prompting Claire to narrate a story about Nadia from the hospital. Once Nikki has calmed down and thanked Claire, they will share a tender moment as grandma and granddaughter. Nikki will also push Claire to pursue a job working with children once she has fully recovered. Nikki and Claire will give Victoria soothing hugs after she goes home with Victor. Nikki will believe they should go to the press about Jordan's latest acts, but Victoria will stress they cannot openly accuse her of arson without evidence. Furthermore, that may motivate Jordan to engage in further wild behavior. Claire will realize that Jordan is desperate and has nothing to lose, so she may be more dangerous than normal. However, Jordan may be becoming careless as a result of her outbursts rather than spending more time planning. Victor will decide to get Jordan to meet with him, but Nikki will be concerned about the threat she poses. Even yet, Victor will be certain that Jordan will not have the upper hand. At the Abbott Mansion, Jack Abbott will discover a distressed Ashley Abbott, who will admit she had an odd dream in which she was arguing with her siblings and Tucker was present to explain what they were saying. Jack will hope Ashley told Dream Tucker to stop, but she will explain she didn't since Tucker was making sense. However, Ashley would feel as if she was someone she did not know in this dream. Ashley will also tell Jack that she knows she should be over Tucker but she is tempted to see him again. Jack will warn Tucker that he does not deserve another opportunity, but Ashley will feel compelled to handle everything on her own. When Jack recalls Ashley's psychologist buddy in Paris, she will agree to call him. On Thursday's episode of Y and R, Ashley will struggle with conflicting inner sentiments before seemingly reverting to the sassier version of herself that has been walking about lately. Jack will return from the kitchen with pie, but Ashley will say she needs to clear her mind with a walk and will depart quickly. At the GCAC, Abby Newman Abbott will approach Tucker McCall in his suite, demanding answers about whatever game he is attempting to play with Ashley. Tucker suggests that Ashley is the one playing games, but he admits that he is losing interest. When Tucker wonders what triggered this visit, Abby admits Ashley was attempting to get Devon Hamilton Winters to forgive Tucker. Abby may spot Tucker's bag at one point and assume he is leaving town permanently, but he will swear he is only going to Paris for a business trip and pleasure. After Abby makes it apparent that Tucker should stay away from her entire family, she warns him not to take advantage of Ashley's softening toward him. If Ashley is planning a revenge scheme, Abby will wholeheartedly back it. Regardless, Abby warns Tucker that if he makes another sneaky move, he will regret it. Tucker will attempt to make sense of Ashley's recent strange behavior once Abby leaves. Downstairs, Abby will meet with Devon and brief him on her confrontation with Tucker. Devon will basically tell Abby that he is not signing up to get burnt by Tucker again, so he will not believe she needs to play protector. As Devon and Abby leave, they will run into Ashley at the door. Ashley will lie about leaving work late and coming for a bite to eat. So Ashley Abby will, will decline her and instead home. dine at the GCAC, leaving Abby wondering if she is there for the food or for Tucker. After Ashley insists she's not there for Tucker and sends them on their way, she'll text him and smirk as she gazes upward. While worried about Victor's scheme, Nikki will phone Jack and explain she is having a difficult time. Diane Jenkins Abbott will pretend she understands when Jack promises to be at the ranch in 30 minutes, despite the fact that she appears pensive about all of the rescue operations. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Diane will continue to be concerned about Jack spreading himself too thin, 
so keep an eye out for any bad news. Young and the Restless spoilers highlight some intriguing scenes in Geno City. A sibling is concerned about his sister, one character makes a pledge to his love, and a villain targets someone new. What can fans expect from Thursday's episode? It's time to dig in. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Thursday, March 7, indicate that Jack Abbott will continue to be concerned about his sister's mental health. Young and the Restless spoilers include a brother's concern, promises made, and a new target. Anyone who's witnessed Ashley Abbott's recent conduct can't blame Jack for being concerned. But will he be able to assist his sister get back on track? Or will she have to cross a huge line first? Lie and R spoilers. Devin Hamilton Winters makes a promise. Across town, lie and R spoilers suggest Devin Hamilton Winters will make a vow to Abby Newman Abbott. Is this referring to their relationship or something else? Steven is currently feuding with Billy Abbott about affairs at Chancellor Winters. Is Abby frightened that this battle will devour him? Then again, maybe Steven's commitment is about something else. After all, Abby was present when Phyllis Summers was rejected by Danny Romilotti on Wednesday, so perhaps she tells Steven the story, and he swears never to leave her alone. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Jordan Howard has a new target. Finally, Lai and R teasers reveal that Jordan Howard will pursue a new target, Victoria Newman. Jordan found some gasoline at the end of the Wednesday, March 6 episode, implying that her reign of terror was far from done. Moments later, Vicky received a call saying her house was on fire. This occurred after Claire Grace harassed Jordan over the phone about her new life with the Newmans. What is the villainess going to do next? Fans will need to tune in to find out. Are you thrilled for Thursday's episode of Y and R? Join the debate below. The Young and the Restless spoilers hint at some intriguing drama about to unfold in Geno City. One individual maintains secrets from their partner, a schemer takes on a new persona, and one character has unfinished business with an ex. What can fans expect from Tuesday's episode? It's time to dig in. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Nikki Newman hides something from the mustache. E and R spoilers indicate that Nikki Newman will keep a secret from Victor Newman. What may this be about? Will Nikki find the burden of Jordan Howard's current situation too much? Young and the Restless Spoilers include secrets, a new identity, and unfinished business. Will she reach for a beverage? Is this about her plan with Seth to kidnap Jordan? Fans will need to tune in to find out. E and R spoilers. Aunt Jordan's new identity. Speaking of Jordan, Lai and R teasers suggest that the psychopath will adopt a new identity. This does not seem like good news for Nikki or Seth. After all, if she wasn't on board with their strategy, why would she need to take on yet another new identity? Could Jordan have crossed a line that requires her to establish a new identity? Is Seth in danger, or perhaps dead? What new wig will Jordan wear now? The Young and the Restless Spoilers Amanda Sinclair has unfinished business. Finally, Y and R spoilers for Tuesday's episode indicate that Amanda Sinclair will resolve some unfinished business with Abby Newman Abbott and Devin Hamilton Winters. If Abby gets elected to the Chancellor Winters board this week, Amanda may look to throw all of their past hostility aside in order to move forward and work cohesively. It's the best option for business, but it takes two to tango, so will Dabby agree to set aside the past and focus on CW's future? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.